What's up everyone, Wild Schneider Outdoors, and today we are installing the Max Fan Deluxe. So some things you're gonna need for this are a scraper to get all the old lap sealing off, some actual Dicor lap seal here, if you see self-leveling lap sealant from Dicor products, and then some butyl tape to help seal it off. Also, you'll need some soap, some water, and some towels, of course, if you can find any in this time, but you need some of that just to get the roof all cleaned off before you go and reseal it. So let's get up top and get started taking the old one off. All right, so we're up here right now on top of the trailer. We got the old vent up here. You got the lap sealing all kind of starting to peel up. I started just to see what it looked like and how I was gonna be able to get it off. So let's get this taken off and we'll get going. changing plans. I don't have the correct equipment so I am just going to unscrew everything. Once you've got the vent off, now you got to clean all that crud off there, all that sealant, all that butyl tape, everything's got to come off. All right, next, now that you have your roof cleaned off, you're going to take this and you want to put butyl tape on it. So you want the butyl tape to go all the way around the exterior and get your screw holes covered so that way you can have a good seal before you put your die core on and then be sure that you have your overlap in the back. So just in case there is any water, it's not going to come in through the front if you have your seam up front. Alright, once you got your butyl tape on, then you're going to set it on to your roof. I've pre-drilled and already stuck in one screw here and one in the back. And then when you mount this, you're going to want to do it like you would a car. So you're going to go opposites. And then don't over tighten it, don't under tighten it, but get it tight enough so that way the butyl starts to leak out like it is right here. And then once you get all the screws mounted, then you're going to come through, cut off that extra butyl, and then come back along and then tighten everything up just one more time. Then you can start squirting on your uh, sealant. Once you've got everything screwed down nice and tight, you'll want to cut off that excess butyl tape and then hit it with the die core. running out of daylight but final thing you need to do once you've got your sealant on there is get your fan have it open so that way you can access it and pull out your wires let your wires drop in and then you can go in from there
and get the fan put into place. Once the fan's installed, you got all those screws in place, all that's left to do is take off the plastic. Hopefully there's enough light for you guys to see this, because this is the best part. Get it started here. Oh yeah, here it comes. Boom, foam gone. All right, I'm gonna let the die core dry and everything's all sealed in so we shouldn't have any issues there. We'll go inside and start wiring it up. So once you come inside, you'll have your wires hanging out here. There's a positive, which is black, and a negative, which is white. So the positive is labeled here. And then this is where your beauty ring would sit. Unfortunately, because we don't have our roof paneling in yet, we're not going to be putting that in just yet we're going to save it we'll put it in later and then you'll mount your roof paneling in and then once all that's good to go you're set so now all we have to do now is turn on the power it's all wired up hooked up to the battery which is just jimmy rigged for the moment so that way we can use this as needed let's give it a shot blowing air in wow, that's good take it all the way down it's lowest setting. It's very quiet. Flip it the other way. Bump it up. Have that vent open over there. There's a good cross breeze going on. I could even open up this window here. Oh yeah. Lots of air being pulled in. Now this fan is rated to do 900 cubic feet per minute. So as this is running, it'll pull 900 cubic feet per minute in, or you can reverse it and then have it be pulling or pushing 900 cubic feet per minute out. Great little fan. I'm actually really happy with it. Turn it down a little bit and then turn it off and then we'll close it, lock it, call it a day. Now the one nice thing about these fans is even when they're closed and locked, you can still turn them on and they act as a ceiling fan to give you some sort of cross flow here inside the, the trailer. So even if you don't want it open like you have your AC running or something, you can still turn it on and get all that airflow. So thanks a bunch for watching. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you so desire. And if you really want to subscribe, as this is just the first of many, many videos to come on this trailer build. This is step one along with the electrical, which is not even close to being done for just a partial rough in. So again, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you watching and as always, stay wild.